okay to remove the mirror the side mirror uh, what you need to do is you need to ins remove this uh, panel okay and then remove the light uh, we're not gonna go through uninstalling this panel because these videos are available on YouTube so the main thing to show you is how to install the motor inside the mirror so this is the XSE passenger side mirror okay with the 360 camera uh, so install the motor inside uh, this mirror of course you will need to remove uh, this uh, cover first okay now this is for the XSE for the SE and LE you may not need to remove this area okay but anyways let's focus on XSE for now uh, this method should apply on both uh, on all trims okay so when you remove this plastic cover let me just zoom out completely all right so when I when you remove it you have to basically remove this plastic cover okay and then uh, disconnect this green wire okay I'm gonna zoom in now green wire and uh, and then uh, for the XSE you need to remove this basically that pink and white wire is connected all the way inside for the uh, for the LED okay for the LED light so you need to basically remove this uh, 360 camera uh, it's not a fun thing to remove but be careful with it don't break the cover this cover or uh, this uh, this cover with the 360 camera in it okay I disconnected it already so you got to remove this and then you have to get to this piece all right uh, okay so next step will be to remove these wires now while while you are doing it uh, take pictures of it so that way you don't forget uh, where where and uh, where all the wires go so you have to remove this plug okay and then you have to remove all these wires from that plug okay same thing over here if you look closely there are some there are about three plugs over here okay the big one all right the big the big one and this green and green and uh, black cable and this other one so you have to remove all that all these wires okay connected on this one it basically you need to remove this part okay when you remove this part you have to basically remove this whole wiring uh, out of it and install the aftermarket motor in it okay now in our findings this plug uh, on the driver's side I was unable to pass through pass uh, this green cable through uh, I'm sorry, the socket through this uh, hole, okay? This black hole. So what I did, I basically cut those wires. I was like, screw it. I cut it, I passed all the wires, and after that, you know, I just uh, reconnected all the wires and secured it with electrical tape. Uh, I'll try to show that to you. But this is the most important and most critical part installing this motor the motor is not it's plug it's not it's not hard to install getting to this part and running the wires uh through this channel over here this black channel over here uh that's the hardest part so i'm gonna try to show you uh as much as possible while i'm doing it okay so this is the plug i was talking about okay so this this is the plug there's no way for this plug to go through this uh black channel over here okay so what you need to do is first take a picture of it okay brown okay in the, in the same shape brown uh, I believe that's like a dark orange red and purple take a picture of it you have to release these pins from this plastic clip okay these uh, pins are not very hard to remove uh, there are uh, pins on the side let me zoom in more all right so there are pins on the side see that little pin inside you have to press that down and push the wire out don't force it you know these are fragile uh, see on this side over here too on top as you can see it you have to press this down I'm talking about this little bitty one okay this bitty, this one uh, you have to press it down and then remove the wire and then once again make sure to take a picture of it so that way you don't forget which wire goes where okay so this is the pin I'm talking about okay okay see this small one the, the the one which is kind of sticking out so you know you have to press that down in order for you to remove it from uh, these channels okay 
uh, yes yeah, so when you press it down more sometimes it gets flat so you, you just have to uh, lift it up with a screwdriver like this like the really the smallest screwdriver flathead possible just you know you have to basically push that in and uh, remove the uh, pin out okay so when you are pushing pulling this thing out okay see this uh, little clip on top of it you have to basically push like with the flathead small flathead screwdriver you just pull it a little bit okay and then you take the plug out I just disconnected it and uh, this one is done now you have to pull these other two wires now remember the placement okay on top green and black goes and uh, the bottom one is black so make sure you know these uh, uh, these areas make sure to take pictures while you are doing this if you are planning on doing it on your own okay guys I just removed these uh, two wires as well okay now let me tell you something man these were some mofos man they were not coming out so these are the two pins okay the two pins that you're looking at they were uh, a little hard to remove uh, the top one came out really easy with my fingers the other one i had to use a plier and then i was just being careful with it i, I was like i don't want to break it uh, so you have to be careful when you are pulling these two wires okay so this is the full harness okay with different functions there is no way i don't even know how they how they pass these wires uh through this this channel you can take all the cables out through this hole okay but this green one it's not gonna fit i believe what uh, what they did was they removed uh before i mean they passed the wires first and then they connected this green uh socket to it okay uh, i tried it i tried my best to remove these wires from this socket uh but it was no help i I did everything I could. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time if there is an easy way to remove these wires from this socket, but I don't think so. So on the driver's side, what I did was I just cut these wires. These are four wires. I cut them and then I uh, installed the motor in it. And then after that, I just reconnected, the, uh, reconnected them and uh, secured it with electrical tape and made sure that they were properly intact. I'm gonna try to see if I can remove these wires. Otherwise, I will have to cut it. This gray one is also, there is no way that it will pass through uh, this uh, black channel. Uh, so, but this one is easy. I can remove the, I can remove these wires from it, from this socket. It's very simple. So when you uh, pull, push these, the, this U-shape uh, uh, plastic tab, this white piece will come out, okay? This white, just completely remove this white piece, okay? See this, uh, okay, so the same U-shape. You lift these U-shaped uh, plastic tabs and the wire will come out. Okay, there you go. So we detached the socket and uh, the wires just came out. Same, just uh, just followed the method that I showed you. You remove this uh, white, white piece uh, first, okay? And then lift these uh, gray pieces up. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Okay, so you lift these gray pieces up. This is like a hook on top of it, on these gray pieces. So you lift it up and then pull the wire out, okay? All right, this one, I still can't figure it out. There has to be a way to pull these wires out, but I can't figure it out. I'm gonna play with it before I cut the wires. Okay, guys, so it's I know it's not a detailed installation video, but you guys will get the idea. If a person like me can figure it out with no knowledge of electrical work, if I can figure it out, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out too. So this is the motor, okay, which we just installed inside this uh, side view mirror, okay? This is the original one, okay? It has a spring, it has a spring as well. So this is the one we took out, okay? And this channel uh, I was referring in the, previous, uh, in the previous clip, and it was hard for me to move or to pass these wires. So what I did, I couldn't figure out a way how to release these pins. So what I ended up doing was, I just cut them, pass the wires uh, through this channel over here, and then I just connected them back. And there you, as you can see, I secured them nicely. I don't think they will ever come loose again. I just passed the, uh, the wire, this green one especially, okay? This one is, uh, okay, this is the wire 
for the motor okay i ran that one too this uh, hole is still fairly bigger than the stock one if you compare it but uh, once you cut it it doesn't really matter okay so uh, another thing was that this is the wires uh, that i showed you in the previous clip okay you have to remove these and uh, this is the clip that i showed you in the previous one i put it back in this is the direction so if this uh, area is looking towards you pink one and white one and to release uh, these wires it was easy it was not bad you basically push on these clips okay and then you lift up this white piece and as soon as you lift it up there is another uh, i don't want to do it again i think i sh uh, yeah uh, i showed it to you in the previous shot uh, so you have to remove this because this socket will not pass through or in fact it was originally installed in like this so it was not coming out as you can see it's too big it's racing so you have to basically disconnect this uh, head or socket uh, rest uh, another wire was uh, uh, I think that's about it so this is basically the the, the motor positive and negative wires and uh, besides that you know these wires make sure you know when you take them out as i showed you in the previous clip so make sure you tuck them in nicely uh now this wire okay now i'm gonna put put this light back together okay uh let's uh you know let me just put these wires over here okay nicely and snugged uh uh once again if you're not feeling comfortable in installing this motor inside your mirror I would say just take it to a body shop if you show them this video they should be able to figure it out okay so next we're gonna put this uh, LED light uh, now this is once again like as I mentioned in, in the beginning this is the XSE uh, XSE uh, side view mirror with the 360 camera okay so we're gonna put everything back uh, together and uh, I'm just gonna show it to you all right so one is this one all right and okay this one is it's not hard to install okay it's basically that's how it is okay all right and then uh, yes this is the wire that you need to connect for for the turn signal I would say just do it first like this uh, yeah there you go okay clicked in and uh, there you go I don't think it clicks any further does it click oh yeah it does okay wait let's do that all right so this there you go okay it's nicely fit in place uh all right let's pull this thing out a little bit and uh okay this is good now another thing is putting this camera back on it Okay, when you are removing this, as uh, I couldn't show it to you earlier, it's a little hard to remove because you have to be careful. You don't want to break these clips, this clip, this clip over here. Um, and uh, so yeah, just make sure you are doing it. Just take it easy. Take your time with it, okay? I took my time with it. Uh, that's why, thank God, I didn't break any. All right, so we're gonna put this thing back. There are this one clip, it goes over here and uh let's see uh, okay see like this so this hole is right here and uh, let's check something else okay i removed this uh i think there is a another uh screws which goes in here we'll see all right so yes i have one two screws left and we'll figure out where they go it's okay yeah my guy's saying that the video might be boring so i don't care if it's boring okay as long as you get the, uh, you guys get the idea okay all right and there you go it's nicely slapped snapped in okay okay so initially when i was removing this um you can zoom in you don't have to bring the phone down okay so when initially i removed this uh screw you don't need to remove that i removed it because i thought maybe uh this screw is holding this bracket but it's not so no need to remove this one now that's for the XSE I'm not sure how the SSE will look from uh, 
from inside when you remove the cover okay all right so next one up is uh you connect this wire together green to green oh okay these are different okay they are different colors on uh this side so only yellow is the one which is uh yellow and yellow the rest of them are all different colors but it's okay as long as well this is original toyota so what can you do okay so this one is good so everything is put uh back together uh and uh okay so far not bad and uh, i'm just gonna push pull the cable a little bit more okay and uh well i guess there's no need for it uh don't pull it too hard i'm not sure if this motor gets hot or not but it shouldn't because you know like it, it, it's not like you know you're using this motor over and over so it's gonna get hot so it should be fine and uh all right so another thing is all right this is good all right yeah this is like in the previous uh clip i showed you when i was removing this uh cover so just, just be careful with it okay that's the only that's i think that was the hardest part for me this part removing this cover and removing this one was the hardest part uh so just be careful with it you don't you don't want to break your covers all right this is good so i'm gonna put this uh, cover back on it just take your time with it no need to rush it okay i know the video is boring but hey guess what you want to learn something you know if i burn you burn all right so okay so when you okay so basically when you are putting it together make sure this plastic liner over here okay as you can see it and make sure that goes inside the light okay okay after a wwf championship i was finally able to put this uh plastic cover back okay it looks okay not too bad i hope water is not gonna go inside it but if it does it's okay all right so next up is uh putting this rubber seal uh back on uh, this uh cover and now to do that you have to run this uh, wire uh, and you know just take it easy with it you know don't you don't want to break this wire because we don't have any replacements for that so you will be out of luck on that all right so okay so there you go the wire is out all right and uh a lot of st sticky residue but oh well all right so this is good okay then another part will be okay so originally there was a red tape installed over here okay so we're gonna which is right here I removed that I had to remove it so let's put some electrical tape over here and secure this area there you go that wasn't so bad it might slip so let's we'll, we will put another piece just to be on the safe side which is like all the way on the edge try to do it as clean as possible all right so okay so we are good on this one now we're gonna install this piece back on all right so next one up is installing the mirror back all right and uh not uh, super hard now make sure your window is rolled up otherwise you're not gonna get to these screws when you are installing them or uninstalling them okay so I, we have everything we need let's come on this side and uh all right, I'm gonna, okay, first, of course, you need to run this wire, you know, make sure that's nicely put in, you know, like when it goes through, yep, got it on the other side, and, uh, all right, so one, two, and, just zoom out a little bit, you're right in my face, buddy, uh, okay, uh, Okay, something is not right. Why? Oh, right here. Okay, never mind. Good, we're good, we're good. All right, so, okay, can you, this one? Okay, these are the three uh, bolts or nuts that I took out. So you have, okay, now when you are installing these, I was, I was having a hard time. So install the 
on this side, the two one, install the upper one first. Uh, I tried to do it, it was not going through. So I installed that one first. Okay, installed one already, and I'm gonna install the other one. Uh, I dropped it a few times, uh, but the good part was that Okay, see now that yeah, that's the one actually. The one, the one, the two screws over here, the one which goes on top. That one is a little hard sometimes to put it on. Okay, see like right now, it's not really uh, fitting in place. Is it? Oh, we got it. We got it. All right. Okay, this one is good. All right. Now don't over tighten it. You don't want to break it. If you break it, don't email us that hey man. Uh, I broke the nut or bolt and it's because we're not gonna be able to help you with that so once again if you are not feeling comfortable take it to a body shop all right or somebody who knows his stuff and uh, they should be able to install that for you like I said one more time uh, installing the motor is the only tricky part and they're running the wires and then another tricky part is uh, all right Okay, so another uh, tricky part is that you have to somehow run this wire either through this rubber loom, okay? And then you have to run the wire inside all the way and uh, this is, and then you connect it. Basically, it's plug and play, no splicing, nothing required, at least for the XSE, I'm pretty sure the SE is the same. Okay, and then uh, this wire is long enough you have to somehow, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna figure that out in just a second, uh, how to run this wire nicely, securely, behind that dashboard underneath somewhere. I guess I'm gonna have to call one of my buddy to help me with it because I'm not confident uh, because I don't wanna break any of these plastic tabs, okay? Uh, I'm gonna connect this and, uh, okay. Okay, this one is connected. Okay, so this is the driver's side, same setup, okay? Uh, this wire is for the motor, okay? We've already brought in this uh, harness for the 360 camera and lights and all that other good stuff. Okay, so there you go, we connected it with this one. Like I said, it's so all plug and play. Uh, once again, this video will be a, a little bit confusing, but you will get the idea if you watch it. Uh, just piece it together, okay? Now this is the socket which goes into this module over here, okay? All uh, right, okay, this is done. Plug and play, very easy. This is the button which comes with it, okay? Uh, so press it, it doesn't click. So you basically you press it, that folds down, fold, folds in, folds out, okay? And this is very, see like very simple, all right? And now, so when you go underneath the steering column, okay? If you, I don't know if you guys have seen the heads up display uh, video, it's the same thing, okay? You basically remove this white wire over here. Can you zoom on it? Can you, can you zoom, okay, zoom in over here? Okay, so you have to remove this clip, okay? Very easy, all right? And then you grab this, this socket, this female version. You grab this and put it in here. Okay, make sure it's nice and clicked in. And then this socket, compatible with the Camry. So you just put it in over here. There you go, okay. And then this one other wire. All right, so that's right here. Uh, the long one, it's long enough to go through the inside the dashboard. And then uh, you run it through to the passenger side door. Uh, this has to be, you have to hide this somewhere in there, somewhere over here. And then uh, this button, uh, you, if you have an empty spot, you basically install, you remove this cap over here and install it. Uh, you guys should be able to figure this out. So this is the hardest part, okay? Running this wire uh, through this loom over here okay in our case we have already disconnected this one so this uh, is connected all right these two are these two are connected it's a little challenge uh to take this piece out out of this uh, hole over here 
this one okay uh, so you have to take it out and then you have to lift this black piece okay this black piece you have to lift it up okay by pressing on this plastic tab okay you have to lift it and then <clears throat> and then this uh, yellow uh, socket it becomes loose and then you basically take it out after that the next part is it took us about 10 minutes to basically run this wire through okay because there is over here if you put place your fingers fingers inside there's like a plastic piece okay I'm gonna show that to you and uh, see this plastic this plastic uh, this is covering that whole back side of the that uh, this panel okay so we had to basically play around with it for almost 10 minutes okay and then I was finally able to fish this wire over here okay next is uh, tape uh, the wire to this one and gently pull it out uh, this wire this is the wire okay this is the wire from uh, coming from the mirror okay right now it's folded when we fish the wire out uh, over here from here okay then the wire is gonna go inside this uh, then the wire is gonna go inside this rubber loom okay fish it out and go inside so we connected this wire to this uh, coat hanger it's not really a coat hanger it's a little thicker than the coat hanger but you have to basically somehow play with it and uh, bring this wire out behind this foam okay right now it seems pretty loose so we should be able to pull this wire out okay and uh, that's the only way that's the only way that you can uh, pull this wire out so we tried but this uh, but this wire was uh, the head is too thick I couldn't finish it out so what I did I remove I remove this uh, bracket okay it's a bunch of fuses and all that it was very was simple you have to push on these tabs okay and then just gently pull it and it should come out okay so now we have some more room to play uh, this area is not too tight. I should be able to uh, fish this wire out. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, I was able to pull this wire out as you can see. Okay, okay, so this is the way. Okay, that's the only way you have to fish this wire out. Okay, uh, this was uh, not too bad actually. If you know what you are doing, uh, we did all the hard work for you. So if you know what you are doing, this should, this should be easy. Uh, Okay, so all the wires are exposed now. This cover is open. Remove the uh, remove the electrical tape from, from on top of it. Now we're gonna run through, run the wire through inside this rubber loom. Okay, all the way over here, and then secure it again with electrical tape. Okay, this uh, plastic is back on. Okay, you can see this is the wire. I don't know if you can let me focus it. Okay, this is the wire and uh, okay, it came through here. We're going to be connecting this end to the yellow and white all the way in the end. So far, not too bad. And uh, let's continue with it. Okay, so uh, the this plus this rubber rubber loom, the wire is passed through already and uh, everything is tucked back in all right put the screws back on over here now remember when you are running this wire uh this wire make sure it goes behind this channel okay of course you have to remove this channel with these uh they are held by these clips these uh, these green uh, clips so when you're running this wire when you're hooking everything up make sure you run it through this uh, rubber channel 
okay so uh, this one is looks pretty good same like the factory make sure you uh, when you uh, see like over here we run the, we ran I ran the wire through now next one is to connect these together and uh, okay so this one is pretty good now the next challenging part will be putting this uh, these two sockets back together okay and uh, putting everything back so this should be the last and challenging part besides that after we are done with this part we're gonna be running through all the wires we're gonna put back every put everything back together uh, okay so let's uh, slowly start doing it now we have to run this wire okay uh, through this rubber loom and uh, to do that you have to basically there is a little knob that you have to pull okay and then you're going to remove this rubber uh, piece okay and uh, once that's removed okay now you will see this white plug uh, all right and okay now okay so these white uh, plastic uh, tabs you have to pull uh, push these in and same thing on the other side too so once you okay you re release this uh, whole white socket okay now to remove this socket from the you know the the wires you have to basically grab uh, a screwdriver see this white uh, this white uh, plastic piece you have to pull you have to push it in uh, to release this black bracket on top of it pull this this so this black piece this black bracket you basically put it all the way up and there you go it is disconnected all right next is that okay I temporarily connected these wires to make sure the limiters are working so now another thing is that we have to pull this cable behind this foam through this area and then it's gonna go through this rubber loom and come out here and then you're gonna be connecting it over here I'm gonna show that to you in just a second uh, there's like a little tab over here okay just loosen it a little bit so that way you can uh, uh, take out the wire you know when you insert it from this area okay we're gonna try doing that change the direction a little bit so that it can come out um, All right, success. So I was finally able to take this wire out uh, on this side, okay? Okay, so I connected the wire to my one end. Okay, the other one is over here. Now carefully, okay, carefully pull the wire out, okay? Don't uh, wrestle with it. So, okay, there you go. And uh, easy, take your time, no rush, okay? And there you go the wire is out now uh, this wire is gonna go through this rubber loom okay all the way over here okay so what this is the most important uh, step so we took our wire out so we un uninstalled we uh, removed this uh, uh, this top part now the next one is to grab a, a cutter and uh, remove this tape now once again you know a lot of people they might want to wanna they might want to do a shortcut and you know just bring the wire you know not going through this hassle but this way it will look more professional nice and clean and uh, there you go we remove the, the plastic tape now next one up is to remove to grab a coat hanger wire okay so run it through okay so i ran the the coat hanger okay uh, and uh, took it out on the other side all right and just uh, connect the wire the same wire this one which we brought inside we're gonna connect it via electrical tape and pull it out 
Okay, so I connected the other end to this uh, uh, coat hanger. Now, you know, this, air, this area is a little tight, so you have to be careful. So gently, now once again, take your time, slowly pull the wire. There you go, success. All right, so the wire is out. That's it, that's the most uh, difficult step that we just did. Remove the pl the plastic, uh, the remove the carrot coat hanger. All right, now make sure to pull enough so then that way you don't lose it. Next one is to uh, now, now you need your you need some more room, so you have to basically pull this thing. This is like a sock, uh, so just pull it up because we need to install this properly nicely. Once again, take your time, no need to rush. The wire is out, we have enough room now, okay? And uh, we're gonna just put, uh, close this lid back. All right, it's like a plastic lid. One, two, that's done. Okay, just make sure you give yourself enough room for the wire because it will be coming out over here. Yeah, so this is good, all right? Okay, now next step is we removed the electrical tape, so we're gonna put the electrical tape back on it. So make sure to grab a nice electrical tape, all right, and install it back. All right, so this is just as good as the factory one we're good to go on this one now we have to put this boot back this boot or this rubber loom back all right all right so boot is back on we're gonna be installing this piece back Okay guys, all right, I did it three times already, okay? I did a, made a mistake on the driver side two times, third time over here on the passenger side. When you are running this wire, okay, as you can see, I disconnected it. Make sure when you pull the wire out of this uh, area, make sure it goes behind this channel, okay? And then it comes over here. Because if you don't do that, guess what? You're gonna be doing all this stuff over again. Uh, in my case, I connected this one and I was like, screw that. I'm not, you know, uh, dismantling this thing again because it was uh, not a fun thing to do. So I was able to manage this wire out again. Now I'm gonna run this wire through this area and then I'm gonna bring it inside uh, this rubber channel, okay? Not even over here. So make sure the wire comes out of this area and then comes out of this area behind this rubber channel, okay? We're gonna be doing that again. Okay, now another very important uh, step is uh, this wire, okay? Now make sure when you are installing this wire, you uh, put this uh, wire in this empty area because with if the wire is uh, like this, okay? Uh, there is no way that you can install it back in that same sp uh, space. So put this over here, okay? You have to make sure uh, that you know that this wire is coming through this empty area and install this rubber loom on top of this white socket first because if you install this white socket first there is no way that you can install that rubber loom cover on top of it so first step uh, run this wire like this and then put the uh, and then put the rubber loom back on this white uh, plug okay so these white two sockets are connected. Rubber boot is uh, on first, and then now we're gonna simply uh, put it back or fit it back in place. All right. Okay, rubber loom is back in. Okay, I hope you. Okay, rubber loom is back in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these tabs back. All right, so we are pretty much done. Okay, we're gonna be connecting these wires now. Okay, wires are connected. Okay, one more thing, all right. So 
this wire over here so when you bring it in make sure it's behind this pillar over here otherwise the when you bring down the mirror it's gonna be in the way and it's gonna be a problem all right so same thing with this one too make sure this is the wire this is the main controller so make sure it's behind this pillar all right so it's not in the way and it's simply connected over here okay just grab electrical tape Okay guys, so the panel is back on. Uh, once again, it's not uh, terribly uh, hard to install, uh, but you know, just the key is to take your time with it and uh, install this panel uh, back on, run the wires through. As you can see, everything is nice, clean. Okay, so I removed this cover from the side. There's no need to remove this cover, okay? Uh, this is right here, okay? No need to remove this because uh, there is enough room to bring the wire uh, over here like this okay and the next part is to hide this wire nicely uh, behind and run it to driver's side and connect it to the underneath the steering console